one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1987 Dodge Ram Charger 150. Uh, these are the little, see they don't have a name like the Blazer and the Bronco, it's just a Ram Charger. But I think the trucks are too. Not sure. It's got to be some different variation that I don't know about. LE is what they're marked on this one. LE 150. Beautiful rig, 4x4. Four four. Um, 136 on it. And look at that exhaust tip. Yeah, baby. Got the nice sound and everything. The chrome looks just absolutely beautiful on this black paint. Kind of do a once around, show you the truck in its entirety. That's my plate on it. I've been driving it around. Tow package. Um, fixed a couple little things on it. Um, it's California truck. You can tell too. I mean, underneath, inside, everything. It's not all tore up. It's highway driven. Very well made. It looks to have been garaged. I mean, if they, I don't believe there's been any paint work done on it. I want to show you right now. I don't believe there's any been paint work done. It looks to be all original. Um, and I'll go around and show you everything up close here in a second. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. If I'm not up, I'll call you back in the morning or something. But I stay up really late just to catch my Europe calls and anybody else that wants to call. If you're in Netherlands, this truck was manufactured in 8 of 86. So I believe there you qualify as an 86. Odd how it goes different there where if it was made in 86, it's an 86, not an 87. Here, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 99% of the time are in 80 the next year. Well, that's your once around, www.oneownercarguy.com. And I upload lots of pictures, 60 to 100 pictures of each of these on that site in a little ad there. And um, you can see them usually about a week after I get the video up. Okay, starting from this corner. Paint's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Dings? Um, not so much. Small little scratch right there that you really have to look to see. Look at this up. Yeah, that's just some dust on there. Little tiny scratch right there. My hands are dirty, of course. Little chip right there. A little the way the chrome gets, you can see there. Not the way it should be, but still, I mean, you really can't tell until you get up on it. This black paint looks, you got water marks on it that I can, it's not even really right, wiped down or buffed out right. Look at that, that's just coming cleaner. Oh man, it's beautiful. Same thing on the windows. We just don't have the manpower to make these things look like they should. Speaking of that, I'll show you something on the front. Oh, this piece just a tad bit loose. And I try to show absolutely everything on these. Beautiful. Chrome or stainless or aluminum steps. I think that used to be red. I'm not sure. Little mark on it right there. Little mark right there. Just looking across the hood, looks nice as can be. Like I say, I just don't see signs of paintwork. Build peg down underneath that grill. Great place for it, Dodge. Chrome and everything on the front's in great condition. This is what I mean. Come on. Really? I mean, it just makes it look. Bleh. But time, not a money thing. It was like seven, eight bucks. I just should have had it in there. Painted around here. Thing is, I get up here in the cul de sac and I'm like, well, ready to do my video. What do I do? Do I start over? Do I take it back to the lot and do something? Um, no. Got that low light level, low level light adjustment hit. Beautiful on the frame and underneath. Armor all sprinkled on it there a bit. Michelin X Radial LT is great shape. Lots of tread. Tiny bit of dry rod starting. Right in the treads. And on the side there. And I'm sure you find a wet gasket or something. Um, you leave this thing set a while. 
um, and you'll get a leave a set a week you'll get a quarter couple quarter you know quarter size drip underneath it of oil it's got a little slow oil leak um, bumpers in great shape I mean it's not like new but it's in great shape oh you see there's a little teeny crease this piece is just bent just slightly I was going to grab it and then pull a chain on it and I didn't do it let me get underneath and show you the tranny pan and such oh there we go as clean as can be you can see that wet spot right there a little bit will leak out in fact as you can see I've sat here for about 15-20 minutes taking pictures well probably more than that yeah probably about 30 minutes almost it's six seven minutes of video and it ain't leaked here but you leave it set for a week and you have a little quarter spot or two and I'm pointing at some damaged spots here that you see. Little chips, a couple little chips in the hood. And I noticed a ding right there. Very hard to see, but it's there. Chip in the windshield, and there may be another. There's like a chip there. That one, we got it on top, but it didn't chip it, if you know what I mean. Maybe you can tell something you want to tell as far, it was how, as, far as how it was built from that. Well, beautiful truck. That's pretty much your halfway up close. I'm going to go for a test drive here in a second and show you how she runs and go up to the house here and show you the interior out of the sun shadow and whatnot. A couple little chips here. I look right up, right up in that. Some dust right there. Wax. Little thin spot right there. You can't really see that one. Oh, piece of trim missing. Now, actually, this set for a long time on my place because one, I drove it a bit, and two, I really wanted to find that trim piece and I just never looked. Same thing here, this has been up a tad bit and it's just gotta be hooked a chain right there, watch. And pull it good and proper on a pole. Tow package. Show you underneath. I can't see my screen. So hopefully my low level light adjustment has hit here. It's a nice rig. If you're looking for one of these, you will be hard pressed to find a cleaner one. Even the bugs are up on it. A little chip here and here. But I don't think I showed you when we went around it. Let me jump up on top. Look at that. Oh, I extreme. Jump up here. I'll clean there's some dust and stuff up here. Don't know if this is factory or not. Don't know. Don't rightly know. It's pretty cool. This stuff is chipped up a bit. There's a slight crack right there. And the this fiberglass. It sure is. Huh. Of all things, huh? Okay, well, that's your once, your twice. You're looking at this, you're looking at that type of round. And this here, this is factory paint on that. Um, it's touched up on the leaf springs, but this thing is a California, non-rusty, nice, clean Ram Charger. <clears throat> keep looking at it wanting to say blazer. In my screen being smaller, it's got that real, I don't know, it was a 71, 72 blazer, K5 type of look. But when you get around the front, it's obvious. Of course, it's Dodge. Well, Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. We're going to go on our test drive, go show you the interior. You know, I just noticed this and I like to be as upfront in everything as I can. What a funky antenna. Just so you know, you've got a funky 80s antenna on there, 90s, whatever your people thought them were cool. 
So maybe they were it. Oh, I've got the hood ornament. It's inside. I've got the manual. I left it at my other place. Uh, doing the cul-de-sac video here versus my lot, I kind of, yeah, leave things at different places sometimes. Hopefully that's my thumbnail. I had a user send me a thing on how to get your thumbnail you want, which is cool. Because my thumbnail sometimes suck. And I'll reproduce and reproduce and reproduce to try and get the right thumbnail. And it just don't happen. I'm squeaking all over here, not tooting. Here's our head ornament. Great shape. Little thing to hook that on the end is not doing. Oh no. Lost the keys. Here we go. And I've got a grip of them too. Sound like my battery was low. Let's do that again. Ballsy. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound. Okay. Oh, rear view mirror is off. Here it is. A little bit of aging starting there. Hello, there I am. And I've even got this. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the center console for you to fix it with. And here we go. seem new. It rides really nice. It'll shake a little bit on acceleration sometimes. Um, could be needing cap wires plug rotor. We're gonna come right in here. Pull over. Now this thing, oh there you go. This thing turns on a dime. I mean I could get in the same lane here if I wanted. This guy, I don't know where he's going. Light him up there if we don't watch out. It gives a nice ride. Um, everything about it is a nice rig. up here to show you the interior. Volvo coming up. 01 S80 with um, low, low miles. Like the lowest miles you've ever considered. Is that good? I'm trying to get this. That should work. Okay. The AC it blows cool. It is not ice, ice cold, but it is very cool. It's cool, just like the truck. I'm gonna have to sit you down for just a second here, a whole still, just to get my jacket off. Now you can hear Breeder going at it, and she's gonna want to be out of her cage here. Hang on. I had a guy just set a set of keys on the here and there. Went right down there. Oh God! Now I gotta pay to get two keys made. There's your hood ornament. Great shape. Now the carpet is in great shape. Kick panel and everything. Hardly anywhere on the gas pedal. A little bit of wear on this side of the brake, which believes me leads me to believe that the 37.9 has rolled over once. No cracks at all on the dash right over here. Oh, oops, got hooked around. Oh, tilt steering too, by the way. And there was a little issue with the ignition as these get sometimes, as you can tell, and they had a little cheater bar on it, 
Well, I got it worked out to where the ignition actually starts the truck now and got the rod in the little connecting piece and all that's functional now. Um, these floor mats are not factory, but you can have them. Um, I'm not Dodge orientated here. Let me get this around my neck. I like the headrests in these. Very nice. Everything's in great shape. And I do not know how to get these up. See, that's the kind of thing you think a guy that was selling a truck would know, you know? But I don't. So, maybe that one don't come forward. You know, in the old trucks, maybe that's a fact here. I'm going to check the other side. I'm thinking only one works on them. Now, this piece is coming down. I believe it's a factory splitter for the headliner. And it needs to have a little work. Now, the headliner's in great shape. Told you from the outside, I don't know if that porthole or whatever you want to call it, vent is actually factory in this, but it's in it. Um, pop the back. Okay, in the back, the strut rams, or whatever you want to call them, the rams, they're in great condition and in working order and hold it up. I never trust them, but I always think they'll hit me in the head. I believe they've been replaced. Lens is broken here, and Man, it's in great shape back here. Oh, I did not mention this, and I want to go back to it real quick. I don't know if it's a burn hole or what. But there's a couple of these right here in the carpet that I want to make sure and show you before it gets... Oh, and one more thing. This window, it kind of gets... It'll just spin a little bit sometimes. Sometimes it'll work. This here is separated just a tad bit. Um, and other than that, where did I put the keys? They're in my pocket. Um, your armrests are in good shape and everything. I believe that's a factory roll bar. I believe these actually did come with a roll bar in them. Um, tire cover. There's something you don't have a lot. But something you don't have also is a spare tire. Um, I can get that, especially if you're in the Netherlands or over in the Europe and you need that type of thing and it's just cheaper here, no problem. I'll get it hooked up, whatever. I just sell them. Look, I didn't even replace the headlight. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. But it's just the low owner, low mile truck. And I'm, I leave some things. If I start fixing and doing and paying people to do, it's just more I've got to charge and cool sticker on there still. Don't leave it open while you're in it or you're gonna die from the fumes or something it says. Which makes sense. Oh, see, I didn't see that little one right here. And he seems to have nicked it just in those little three places on this side. That's about it. I'll show you the other side here, show you under the hood. Custom. Engineered ran tough. That's right. Carpet's in great shape. Just absolutely beautiful. Oh, here's the only thing in the interior I could find. Split on the seam. I can have this, ooh, I don't know if he can match it. A couple little threads off there. Maybe you'd have to do both of them. If you had to do both of them, it's like 250, 280 bucks. Um, you've seen your window stuff. Like I say the dash is beautiful. Usually all cracked up in these. I don't get all cracked up about it. This one's a little loose right in that corner. Well, nice warm San Diego day, and I overheated my camera. Uh, this is redder. Well, I was supposed to be like that. But this is redder than this part is. Just kind of lightly like that. The light comes on. And oh, there's some extra somethings in here. And this was a pad that was laying. I don't know, it's like a, a grip pad of some sort. Boots, beautiful on there. Um, this seat is the one that comes forward. Back seat's beautiful. Doesn't look to have hardly ever been sat in. The carpets are in great shape. And you could probably shampoo them and get them nicer. Whoa, that thing is like right now. I love them. Headrests on there. Like I say, my camera overheated, so I went ahead and popped the hood here. 
under the hood nice as it gets get yourself a Chilton's or a Hames and you can still work on this thing and you know with old cars chances are you will be doing something to it the neat thing is all the parts are cheap nowadays uh, alternators are $19.99 to $49.99 just super super cheap to work on these rigs back firewalls in great condition everything in here is just in great shape Ah, dual snorkel kind of a flapper thingy um, your compressor spins free but not you know what I don't like how it spins you might get by with something on it but I don't like how that compressor spins but it's not locked up because of that that could be holding you back a little though that's I don't know guy might want to get that checked out definitely is not locked up it's moving but harder than it seems it should and I go into detail on that because I told you about the AC not blowing cold enough I mean, it definitely blows cool though so it's a moving in here these always have issues with this and this is unhooked from the, I don't know what you call it thing, heat sink. Still got the stickers all over this thing. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, still got the factory hood liner. Hey, what, what motor is it? Yep, 5.9 liter. Ah, that's cool. Jack stowage and usage. Well, that's your once around, your twice around. I got the hood ornament inside. You've seen that. Uh, we're going to back this thing up. Fleet, oh, look at that light go. Fleetwood Brome de Elegance coming up. Reader? I hope she's with Samantha. Radio works. I turned that on while I was broke on the camera. I don't want to find my doggy. Yeah, she should be good. Watch my mirrors here. 406-544-6919. Oh good, Samantha has her. Little beagles. I've got um, 11 babies I think we had. So if you need a beagle, I have got a couple beagles. Seriously. Cheap miniature beagles. YouTube special. If you're a watcher of my car videos, I will make you a smoking deal. Just because you're watching my car videos. Now what do you say about that? Just a little bonus. Anybody watching too. Okay, well, did I get the wheels pointed nicely? Yes. So, looking good. Nice truck. I've went over everything I can on it. There's only one thing I've forgotten that I can think of, and that's the wheels. I'm going to show you them. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919, www.oneownercarguy.com. And like I said, I put 50, 60 to even 100 pictures up there on that website that you can see. Beautiful, beautiful truck. If you're looking for a Dodge, a Dodge Blazer, oh cool. And we just got this ran up to us at the right last moment possible great time to get it versus not having it is my owner's manual here. Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. She was at the other yard and happened to bring it over. I showed you that. It's the worst in it. Beautiful truck. My name's Nathan. 406-544-6919. I know I've told you that. I just need you to call me if you want it. And other than that, I think I've shown you everything. I got some interior pictures to take and I'm going to be gone. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Import, export. I will export this anywhere. Like I say, it was made in 8 of 86 is the manufacture date. So, Netherlands, Germany, all you that get cheaper VAT or MOT because of 86 and behind, here you go. Perfect young timer. So, give me a call. You already got the number. www.oneownercarguide.com. Thanks for watching.